So I'm back again with a sports review. I go by the name Chemist Toto. In fact, wait, make a brag small. So of last week, I gave some 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 game by telling people Barcelona is going to win the game, and most people were doubting me. And in fact, they did win. So as you can see, you can watch the screen below. You can see what I'm talking about. I did it three odds, and I won it. Sharp. You understand? Solid. So that was what happened last week. Now this week, we all know Qatar 2022 is approaching and teams are trying to play their role to qualify to Qatar and represent their country. And starting with Europe, we had teams that are already qualified and teams that are yet to qualify. Teams like Wales, Austria, um, Italy, not Mallorca, then Sweden, we have Czech Republic, we have Portugal, we have Turkey. So Sweden then Austria played and it ended up 2-1 where Gareth Bale gave them some two solid goals. A player that they normally use at Real Madrid is always at bench, like on one Bobby Kraa, Jessica of Antonio Conte, you know they like him, yes. Then with Sweden and Czech Republic, full time 90 minutes, it was nil-nil till extra time when they came, they got a goal. Then with Portugal and Turkey, although Cristiano Ronaldo didn't score a goal, but they managed to win this game. They had lots of players out of the game, someone like Pepe, Ruben Navas, uh, Neves, sorry, uh, a whole lot of players, but they managed to win the game. Then with the shock of the day, Italy losing against some team like you can't even think straight this team you not know, they play football they might only be bible but they were able to hold it when you even look at the head to head italy had 16 shots on target was it short or corner 16 they didn't even get one at the end of 90 minutes they won it and at the end italy is out Italy are unable to make it to Qatar 2022, and I don't know for them. So there will be a final round where Portugal will play North Macedonia, then Sweden will play um, Wales, then with Poland. I don't know who Poland is going to meet because they decided not to play with Russia, and FIFA decided to qualify them straight away just because of the war happening between Russia and Ukraine. So that was it for um, Europe. I'll be back again with South America. Uh -huh. I have to just cool myself down. Uh -huh. So I'm back with North South America, sorry where we had the likes of Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina, Paraguay, Colombia, Ecuador, Chile, Peru, Bolivia, Venezuela. They all had their taste of the um, Qatar qualifiers where Colombia met Bolivia then. Um, Uruguay came head to head with Peru, Brazil came head, head to head with Chile, Paraguay, Ecuador, then Argentina with Venezuela. So, Colombia just beat, of course, they are going to win. They won by 3-0. Then Uruguay won Peru just by a goal, a goal. The team where they have Cavani, they have Suarez, they have the, you name them, like name the players, like name them, yes. Then with Brazil, exactly, the players are there. Neyman, Vinicius, Casimero, see. A lot of players, name them, just name them. They won 4 0, they won Chile, 4 0. Chile, Chile, Sanchez, Chile, Chile, yes, them. Then Paraguay, they won Ecuador 3 1. Then the winners of South America, in fact, the champions, and they are still the champions, the king, where people are saying Messi is the good. I, mean, I don't know whether it's the good. If Messi is the good, then Ronaldo will be what? So Argentina won. 3-0 where Messi scored the third goal, Di Maria giving us the second goal, and one other goal. 
Yeah, so that was it for South America. I'll be back with the Africa. Check like this group finish. Anyway, let's continue. So with the African qualifiers, actually they only need just five, five African teams. I don't know why they keep on, they keep on doing with that. Just five teams, yeah, it's so bad. How many West African teams? We only have Ghana and Nigeria. That's all. The rest of them, not African teams and Italy. That's it. So we had the likes of facing Morocco, Mali, Tunisia, Cameroon, Algeria. Egypt, Senegal, Ghana, Nigeria, where by Dia Congo came head to head with Morocco, and the match ended 1 1. Mali with Tunisia, where everybody was thinking Mali is going to win this game. Mali, they lost against Tunisia. Cameroon and Algeria losing at home. Cameroon, they lost 1 0 at home. Then Egypt, Senegal. A repeat of the AFCON 2021. Yes, 2021. Because it was supposed to be 2021. Yes. And the problem of the day, Ghana, Nigeria. Before I talk about it, I want to invite a Nigerian colleague who will help me tell it, talk about this match because there are a lot of issues like people have been talking about it. It didn't start now. They started with the Ghana Jollof, Nigerian Jollof. And you even know, Nigerian is the Askam is Ghana corruption in Kwa. So without wasting much time, let me invite. He calls himself Chief. So, Chief. Charlie, you are welcome. So, how far? How far with this Charlie, Ghana and Nigeria? It was not easy, Charlie. You know, you know the, the funny part of it. Like, I really bet my life to that game. I bet Nigeria too near to Ghana. But wait, you know, you know Ghana was going to beat Nigeria. Oh, come on, Charlie. We big pass everything. Yes. I just see. see, on paper, on paper, we know that, yes, Nigeria is going to win. That one, fact. It's fact. Nigeria is going to win. Because no, we have the see, lights of... If you watch the football, you, you know we have squad. Like, we have a lot of squad on the field. And you guys don't have squad. So, I was expecting, like, Nigeria to give you guys, like, five, five million. Like, we are... Like, I was starting to, to, to spec Ghana like that. I recently, my challenges were really disappointed me. Yeah. That was what people keep saying. Yeah. But on paper, no, I was expecting Nigeria to win because you have the likes of Moti Simon, you have yeah, Finacho. Yeah, you get the players, so, but have, I don't know why they would like, they really for You have Galo, you have like a lot of people, but yes, so, you are anything. But like, on, on the honest part, I think Ghana was trying to, like, you know, Ghana players, like, they did well. Like, there was a lot of actions coming from them. Like, they were, like, a lot of energy was coming from them. For me, I'm trying to be like new neutral here. I, I really support my country, you understand? But I think Ghana will make it at a high top. Although I know Nigeria is going to try to do something bad. Looking at the game that is coming, I, I believe that in the upcoming game, Nigeria can do something bad. I believe Ghana can do more. So since now it's ended no, no, no. What do you think is going to happen on Tuesday? Mm, you see, that question is like very realistic. I don't know how to put this question, but it's a very big question. But I, I expect the best to happen, like seriously. See, just go straight to the point. You know Ghana is going to Oh, no, no. I support my country. I know we are going to do something bad. You know, it's unpredictable, but I know... See, I, see we don't feel carry last. You know, we, Nigeria don't feel carry last. You know Nigeria has never won a game in their country before. That was then, you know. And that it's still... Then. No, see, no, no, that was then. See, you can't tell me... A case is still a case. No, a no, case no. can never it's be something else. It's not a else. case, you see. Don't worry, we'll, we'll show you guys who wear man like, you understand? Okay, we live, we live, we live to see. Ah, no Tuesday problem, is just around the corner, you understand? Yeah. yeah, but before we go, I want to ask you this question. Okay. A lot of people have been asking me this question. If Messi is a good, Ronaldo be what? Sheep. <laughs> ah, why? What's the of? Ah, the opposite of goat, no be sheep. Who tell you the opposite <laughs> of goat is sheep? Oh, the opposite of goat is sheep. It's oh. the same thing now. Nah. Who tell you? Ah, that's a gospel truth, my brother, now. Nah. See, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>